Decoding the dialects. Dive into regional slang. Hey learners! Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of regional slang and colloquialisms. Just as accents vary, so does the slang that people use in different parts of the world. This becomes especially crucial when you're working in diverse environments. The goal? To help you understand and adapt to various workplace cultures and communicate efficiently. First, let's clarify. Slang and colloquialisms are informal words or phrases that people use in casual conversation. They often originate from cultural or local experiences, and they may not always be understood by those from other regions or cultures. For example, while mate is a friendly term for a friend in Australia, it might not be as commonly understood in the US. Working in a professional setting, you might encounter colleagues from diverse backgrounds. For instance, someone from Texas might say they're fixin' to start a task, meaning they're about to start. If you're from New York, you might find this puzzling. This illustrates how regional slang can affect understanding in the workplace. Let's explore some examples. UK, Bob's your uncle. It's a way of saying, there you have it. Australia, I'm flat out like a lizard drinking. It means being very busy. India, he is out of station. This means someone is out of town. Canada, giver. It's a way of encouraging someone to do their best or go for it. These phrases may sound foreign initially, but they can add color and flavor to your conversations when used appropriately. To smoothly navigate this linguistic landscape. 1. Listen actively. Often, the context provides a clue. 2. Ask questions. If you're unsure, it's okay to ask for clarification. 3. Embrace the diversity. Language differences make interactions rich and diverse. Celebrate them. As the world becomes more connected, understanding regional slang and colloquialisms can play a crucial role in effective communication, especially in the workplace. Remember, it's not just about understanding the words, but also appreciating the cultural nuances behind them. We hope this video helps you in your linguistic adventures. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.